Hello and welcome to another episode of Anything But Authentic where I make crazy unique food that is Anything But Authentic. On today's episode, I'll be making Instant Pot Matzo Ball Pho. It is around the time for Hanukkah and even though I obviously don't look Jewish, I had a lot of Jewish friends and I love just being included in their culture and traditions. And of course, I love the Jewish food that I had the privilege of trying out from my Jewish friends like potato laka, pastrami, and of course, Matzo Ball Soup too. And it's a time to make your traditional matzo ball soup but if you're looking to kind of jazz it up just to you know have fun with it you should try out this matzo ball pho recipe i guarantee you it is going to be super delicious i couldn't stop eating it when i was testing it so i really hope you guys are gonna love it let's get started first gonna make the pho soup in an instant pot on high saute you want to add in two star anise one teaspoon of coriander seeds one cinnamon stick seven cloves and one dry cardamom. Let the spices toast until it's super fragrant. Then remove it all from the pot. Then you wanna add around two teaspoons of vegetable oil, along with one and a half onions that is sliced in half, one shallot, and a couple slices of ginger. You wanna place these aromatics with the large size down and let it char for around four to five minutes. Afterward, you wanna add in around one cup of water first and deglaze the pan. Then add in another four cups of water along with around one pound of chicken wings. Let it come to a boil and make sure to remove any scum that you see floating on top. This should take around 10 to 15 minutes. Afterward, you wanna add in another five cups of water along with the toasted spices. Then you wanna close the lid and turn the venting knob into a sealing position and cook on high pressure for around one hour. Then you wanna let it naturally release for around 30 minutes. After the broth is done, you wanna remove all the solids and reserve around three tablespoons of the broth. And then we move on to making the matzo ball. Now let's make the matzo ball. In a medium or large bowl, you wanna add in around three eggs and whisk until there's no streaks remain. Then you wanna add a quarter cup of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of chopped basil, one teaspoon of chopped sawtooth herb, three tablespoons of fuzz stock, one teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of sugar. In case you don't know, this is the sawtooth herb. If you can't find this at your local supermarket, then you just wanna add another teaspoon of the Thai basil leaves. If you can't find the Thai basil leaf, I think you can substitute it with Italian basil, but I'm gonna be real, it's not gonna taste the same. So if you can, try your best to find at least some Thai basil leaves. Whisk until everything is well combined. Then you wanna add in around 3 4 cup of matzo meal. Combine it until everything is well blended. Then you wanna cover it and let it rest for around 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, you wanna take the cover off and then you can start rolling the matzo meal mixture into matzo balls. Then let's cook the matzo balls. Bring the Instant Pot with the pho broth back and put it on saute on high. Then you wanna place all the matzo balls in along with around two or three chicken thighs. And then you wanna place the saute back to low and let it simmer for around 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, take out the chicken thighs and let it cool down. Then you wanna add in a couple of green onion heads along with two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder, and two teaspoons of fish sauce. Then you wanna let it simmer for another 10 minutes. While you wait for the matzo ball to finish, you can go ahead and shred the chicken thigh with two forks. Once that's done, it's time to assemble. What I have here is a bowl that I already put some pho that I cooked according to instructions. Then you wanna add in some of the pho broth, along with, of course, the matzo ball, and then a little bit of the chicken thighs, sliced onions, a little bit of green onions, and of course, some sriracha and hoisin sauce. And that's it. I just added a side of the sawtooth herb as well as Thai basil and some cooked bean sprout and a wedge of lime. I mean, this is a very standard uh, side for pho, so figure you can't miss that for uh, this dish, right? And it just looks so good. So I'm just gonna add some of the side vegetables into my bowl of pho and just gonna dig in. All right, so a little bit of bean sprout, Thai basil. And of course, some sawtooth herb. Squeeze some lime on there. All right, I'm gonna mix everything up. And let's see. Mm. This is so good. As you can see, I couldn't stop eating. It was, it was pretty good. And I'm a bit hungry from, you know, 
cooking all the food so it doesn't help but it is so good the spice definitely blend the flavor into the broth and since we use a bit of that broth to make the matzo ball you get a little bit of that spice as well as the herb and the matzo ball itself is just fluffy and just full of flavor it's just so good even though it's full of flavor it's also super light and all the herbs give it that extra herby flavor and then the lime just kind of freshens it up a little bit and then the bean sprout just make it like extra crunchy like this has a full range of flavors from soft to fluffy to crunchy to just everything this is so so good well thank you for going with me goober don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and i hope to see you here next time on anything but authentic